The initial idea was started when I was a child. Anytime I read children's books, I wanted the characters to move and be able to jump from one page to another page. And as technology grew, I saw opportunity to do that for a book that I was creating to give other kids who may dream of the same thing that I dreamed of as a kid to have the opportunity to, to interact with a book the way I wanted to as a kid. So Hey AJ is an imaginative little girl. She's able to turn any situation into a great one just by her mind and she sees things differently, the world differently. You read the book as a family. That's the best thing about children's book. You don't just give it to a kid to read by himself. It brings families together. So if I have a children's book, I'm reading it to my kids. And then the app is the same thing. They could take the app, they could have AJ wherever they go. And it's the idea is to have multiple platforms for different experiences with the same character. The app is an immersive experience for the kids. So if you read the book, the app is totally different from the book. So the kids could dive into the story. They get to move through the kitchen, move through the breakfast scenes. There's a game, but you can't play the game until the book is finished. There's a lot of stuff that I did not know about apps <laughs> that I constantly learn as I go, but pretty much every single thing was new for me. So everything I learned through making the first app, like I didn't take any courses, I didn't take any classes. I just had an idea and I just started making this app. So it was a lot of scene development, scene visions, all the capabilities of what's possible in the app and kind of kept it limited a little bit the first one. Then when I updated, the next one's going to be even better. The toughest thing about the Imagination Agency is that right now everyone's remote. So the toughest thing is developing a culture. It's easier to develop a culture when someone comes into a place every single day and they see it and they know what it is. But when everyone's in LA, Chicago, wherever they may be, to develop a community is a lot tougher. So it's like, you know, scheduling Skypes, making sure you, I communicate with everybody, make sure everyone understand what we're doing and why we're doing it. Because when you can't come into the same room every single day, you cannot see the growth of where we're going, so to speak. So I have to make sure that uh, the roadmap that I paint for them is one that they could always know where we're going and where we're, what we're doing and why. The why is, is very important. Then you can figure out the how. I'm looking forward to experimenting with VR next. If you could go first person and be AJ through the book and see what she sees and the way that I created the book and what she saw then, now you're in those scenes and you're in the book. Like now I'm in the actual books. The ultimate goal for me is for each person in the world to encounter one of my characters and go on a great adventure with one character I create. And those are through many facets, apps, you know, movies, cartoons, books, novels, games. If you want to download the Hey AJ app, just search Hey AJ in Google Play App Store. Just search Hey AJ Saturday. Be greatly appreciated. And then you can buy the book and other Hey AJ merch at www.heyaj.com.